putting high energy dog breeds like the Staffordshire Bull Terrier in a crate when convenient in your day to day life may seem like a convenient solution. And in fact, when used correctly, putting your dog in a crate can be beneficial. But many owners fall into this convenient habit too regularly and for too long periods. Crating for extended hours during the day just may not be the most beneficial practice for Staffies, known for their vibrancy and affectionate nature. Upon discovering a video by an American owner of a high energy dog breed who routinely uses a crate as part of their daily schedule, I was struck by the overwhelmingly positive feedback from other dog owners who also practice daytime crating. In contrast, crating at home is rare in countries like Germany, whereas in the United States it's much more common, with dogs often spending several hours a day in crates. This discrepancy highlights significant questions regarding the need and frequency of crating. In my view, if your dog is provided with a long walk before and after work, and a short one in the evening, crating becomes unnecessary. Yes, this might mean waking up an hour earlier to ensure your dog gets the vital morning walk, but the benefits are manifold. With three daily walks, you provide your staffy with ample time outdoors, exercise and socialization, contributing to a calm and balanced demeanor at home. Not to mention, this routine offers multiple health advantages for you as well. Therefore, without further ado, here are my arguments for rethinking prolonged crating and considering alternatives, while still recognizing the merits of crate training when applied sensibly. The drawbacks of extended crating. One, physical health risks. Staffies, an active and robust breed, need consistent exercise to stay healthy. Extended crating can restrict their physical activity, leading to potential weight gain and associated health problems. Two, emotional well-being. Known for their loving nature and strong attachment to their owners, Staffies can suffer from isolation and neglect if crated for too long, potentially causing anxiety and depression. Three, behavioral concerns. The lack of social interaction and mental stimulation can result in unwanted behaviors like excessive barking, chewing, or aggression due to unexpended energy. Better alternatives to extended crating. One, prioritize exercise. Regular walks, playtime, and mentally engaging activities are crucial for expending energy and minimizing the need for crating. 2. Interactive toys. Toys that encourage problem solving keep your staffy engaged and satisfied, reducing the likelihood of boredom when alone. 3. Consider daycare services. For extended absences, doggy daycare or pet sitters offer socialization and activity that crating alone cannot provide. 4. Create a safe environment. Designate a secure area in your home where your staffy can freely move, equipped with essentials like a comfortable bed, water, and toys. 5. Invest in training. Early training and socialization make dogs more adaptable to alone time and discourage destructive behaviors. Benefits of crate training. While addressing the concerns associated with prolonged crating, it's also crucial to recognize the benefits of crate training, such as providing a safe space, aiding in house training, preventing destructive behavior, and facilitating travel. Especially for puppies or young dogs, crating can be a reasonable short-term solution post-exercise or overnight, emphasizing the importance of not exceeding two hours during the day to prevent reliance on the crate as a substitute for engagement and physical activity. My view on crate training. Crate training is beneficial primarily as a safe space for the dog during car rides, dog sports competitions, or for young puppies who are prone to chewing. Routinely confining dogs to crates for several hours a day is unnecessary. A well-exercised dog provided with ample mental stimulation has no need for daytime crating. Typically, destructive behavior in dogs stems from boredom or insufficient activity rather than malice. Conclusion. While crate training can serve as an effective strategy for managing a dog's environment and ensuring their safety, it should not replace the need for proper exercise and mental engagement. Dogs flourish through interaction, engagement, and physical activity. Meeting these needs not only prevents behavioral issues, but also strengthens the bond between dogs and their owners. It's crucial to find a balance between the convenience of crating and the well-being of the dog to ensure they enjoy a fulfilling life as part of the family.